Good morning, good afternoon and good evening, wherever you are in the world. My name is Jade and this is How to App on iOS. And today we're going to be looking at KQ Sampe. But first, let's chill to a bit of Thomas Christ, who's our featured artist this week. And this is Broken Machine. Thomas Christ, Broken Machine. Good morning. I hope you're all doing good. Welcome to the show. Um, Thomas will be our featured artist this week. It's long overdue. I, have I done it? Have I done it before? <laughs> I couldn't even remember. I'll be honest, I haven't been too well since yesterday. Uh, yeah, I'm not going to go into the specifics, but uh, yeah, I haven't been very well. Shit went very south very quickly yesterday. Health wise, but we're here, and that's the most important thing. As long as I don't have to get up, I'm good. <laughs> but I, I was sitting here going, man, I, I can't remember who I've done, who I haven't done as featured artist. I quickly went through some videos to see, and I'm like, oh, I'm sure I haven't done Thomas before. Well, I haven't done Thomas. <laughs> but uh, he hasn't been. I'm pretty sure he hasn't been a featured artist before for the week. 
So, good times. My name's Jay. This is How to App on IS. What an introduction. Uh, it is Monday here, the first day of the week. We've got a whole bunch of shows uh, all, all lined up for this week. So, they're all already up on the channel. So, you can go and have a have a set a notification of them and all that stuff. We've got a great interview coming out for the, the end of the week with an amazing artist who is going to do a full reveal in uh, Jack Flash. I'm really excited about that. And we've got some other great interviews coming up for the rest of this month. It's going to be a big month, this one. A lot of uh, new things happening towards the end of the month, so that's really exciting. What do we do here? We take a look at apps and uh, stuff and things and interviews and uh, mental health and well-being, whatever it is we try and talk about on this. We try and confront it where other channels may not. Yes. So let's say hello to everybody who's here today, who've kindly joined me on a Sunday for you, most of you living in the rest of the world in the past. Thomas Christ, the aforementioned SM Borthwick, paying to get. Hello. Um, who's, uh, I'm working on his EP today. That's exciting. I'll be mastering that today. In my, after this show, not long after this, actually. Um, man, I've got a busy week on too. Wow. So, uh, so much happening. Damn. Um, Joe and Barry Glenn. I see Barry Glenn is here as well too. David Collette. Hello to you, my friend. I will get to that email. <laughs> Man, so much going on. Uh, hope you're well. Who else is here? I did see some extra, some, so, uh, usual suspects as Ronnie Ward would call them. Um, where are we? Brian Baker. Hello to you. Yes. I'm looking at, uh, K. Q Simpe today because this guy makes really cool apps. He really does. Um, Audible video, hello to you. Russ8889. And uh, seven strings at one voice, hello to you, my friend. Welcome back to the channel. Good to see you. Uh, Gary Hubs, man, what is happening, my friend? Yesterday, what happened yesterday? Let's talk briefly about yesterday. Yesterday, I did a show where I tried to sing a bunch of communities, people's songs. And can I just tell you, it was one of the hardest things I've ever done. Now, I've performed all over the world. I've done gigs in front of 70,000 people. But nothing, nothing was as terrifying yesterday as performing a collection of songs in front of the artists, even though you're not here in front of me, but on the internet, still in the chat to actually have to perform songs, and it got the best of me. Actually, it didn't get the best of me. I wanted to talk about this because this is important. So I sung a Kim Harden Hudson song yesterday, and I completely lost the plot. It was something I'd practiced all week, and I'd got down better than any other song that I'd worked on, and I had it locked in. And there's one thing I didn't do, and this is important when you're covering songs, and I just want to cover it quickly because... I meant to do it and didn't do it. And then in the show, because I didn't do this one specific thing, it tripped me up completely. Now, it's not that I forgot the song or anything like that. I'm going to open up this app here and show you what I mean by this. Because this is, this is something that people often don't talk about. So I save all my lyrics in an app called Pages. Here it is here. And um, I keep it all everything on my iCloud. And there is our pages. And here is the song, right? So, hello, Patrick Chandler. Good to see you. So here are the lyrics. Now, when I sung this, I had a piece of, uh, I had some words missing. And here are the words that were missing right there. Very simple, ah, because there is a section in the song where there is an ah, ah. And because that wasn't there, I didn't know where the R bit was coming in and it can completely fucked me up. And if you go back and watch the show, I actually go in and, and pull up Kim's song just to hear where that R is. As soon as you, I hear it, I stop the song and go, there it is, typed it in and then was able to sing it. So uh, when you're covering songs, it's important to add these little things like R's, U's, E's, I's and U's because they're great points to help you remember a song that you'd hardly know. Anyway, I had a ball doing that uh, yesterday. It was really awesome. And I'll be honest, I got to sing one of my favorite songs three times because I love that song by Kim Hart and Hudson. Not that I don't love it. All your other songs as much, I, I surely do. And I've decided from the feedback yesterday, we're going to do another one of these maybe in a couple of weeks' time. 
So hopefully you guys will be into it. I already have a few people I'd like to uh, do songs from. Some of them are here already in the chat. So that's really cool. And um, I think it'll be a regular thing where I uh, cover your songs if you like me to. If you don't, you can tell me to go and get... There you go. All right. Um, Patrick is here. I said, hello, Lee, iOS Music Man. Good to see you. So let's jump in and have a look at some price drops today because there are a few of note we can have a look at. Mono Leap, something I covered a little while ago. Uh, it's like a really interesting uh, uh, one of those apps that uh, is made for iPhone that you can control music with an iPad, you know. Something that iPad's really good for um, is free at the moment. Bleas, uh Alpha, uh, Alpha Synth, uh, Bleas Omega, both on sale from $14.99 to $9.99. So there's a sale there. Uh, we have Red Shrike, which is down a couple of bucks. Mammoth Bass, of course, on sale for $1.99. If you don't have it and you play bass, you're cray cray. Uh, Rhino Guitar, now if you, if you play guitar and don't have Rhino, you're insane. Right, you you need to get it. It's three ninety nine. Do it. Um, yes, I'll be doing a Russ cover next time. Uh, that'll be my toilet break. I'll just play his music and I'll just fuck off to the toilet. What do you think about that? Uh, all the even tied apps are still on sale, so definitely take a look at those if you are if you don't have them. Yeah, you should be buying it. Do you not have that, Gary? Are you insane? Holy shit, dude. You really need to buy that. That's $4 that will change your life, man. You too can sound like Kev Hart. <laughs> get it. Get it done. Get it good. Um, all right. Uh, next page. So, that, yeah, there's heaps more even tied apps here. There we go. Verse and apps are still on sale as well. To today, we are looking at this. Uh, I'm, I'm shocked, Thomas Christ, that Gary Hubs does not have Rhino. Man, shocking. Hello, Jim Shannon on Sounds. How's it going, my friend? So today we're looking at this. This is a KQ Senpei. And um, this, uh, the last time I reviewed this developer's app was for KQ Dixie, uh, which was another really cool app where you can import your own sounds. So this is a sound font player. Let's not get like any like... Uh, Let's not go crazy here. This is a sound font player. Uh, so it, it plays MIDI, mi MIDI files. You can import sound fonts. And you can you can import your basic sound fonts, your basic MIDI sound fonts. These sound fonts, you know, these are pretty common sound fonts. But to have them all in one place at a really cheap price, because this thing is only $5.99. So if you are looking for a very cheap little app to be able to incorporate. I'm going to sell this to people with GarageBand today. And you're looking for some extra sounds that you don't get with GarageBand. Something nice and cheap that you can just load into GarageBand. Doesn't take up a lot of CPU at all. This is perfect. The sounds aren't super magical, but they are absolutely, f you know, perfect enough to add into songs and do all this kind of stuff. Because... I think we were talking about this uh, maybe on uh, Clubhouse the other day with sound fonts and things. It doesn't matter um, when you're building up a song sometimes. if it, You don't have to have the Ravencroft and all the, all the fancy pianos. When it's in the mix, a piano is a piano at the end of the day. When it's in the mix, what you can do with EQ and stuff and a sound font piano is mwah. So keep that in mind. But at the end of this uh, little demonstration, it's up to you if you think this app is something that you need in your life. I'm not selling it to you, just showing you what it does, yeah? Because apps aren't Pokemon. You don't need to collect them all. But six bucks, it's a pretty fair deal. Hello, JDL. So I'm going to open up the app in two different, three different modes kind of today. We'll open it up as a standalone first to show you what it can do as a standalone. Then we can uh, open it up. <laughs> then we, <laughs> I like that, Russ. Then we can open up it in AUM, and then we'll open up in GarageBand and show you what you can do with it in GarageBand. And you know, you can open multiple instances of it and not get the dreaded, uh, you know, GarageBand shitting itself thing. So here it is in standalone mode. Let's get it up here. Make sure my keyboard's happening today. Have we got sound? 
We do, straight away. Hello, Mix Club. What's going on? So, <laughs> now this is multi-timbral. Now, as a standalone, it's multi-timbral. You can have up to 16 instruments all, all in the standalone version. Now, when we open it up as an AUV3, though, it's a little bit different because you can only open one instrument at a time. But that's cool because this takes up fuck all CPU, yeah? Uh, did I see? Little realities here. <laughs> 1K dump. All right enough of 1k dumps so here it is and we've got a piccolo straight away and you can see i've got it connected to my aturia key step 37 you've got an on-screen keyboard to play with if you don't have a external yeah so that's all good nice and easy Gary Hub says, I've now bought two apps in 2022. Whoa. <laughs> Settle down, Gary. Settle down, man. Fuck. Keep those, all those moths are going to escape from your wallet, man. <laughs> <laughs> On you, Peppy. All right. So <laughs> let's, let's have a look at this in full screen. So first we'll go over here. This is where it is multi-timbral. So I clicked up the top here to this far end. See how it's got a little music icon up the top? When you click it, it takes you over here. So here are your 16 channels of multi-timbral instruments. All right, so you can go in here and you can change these instruments. You can, you can uh, well, not for this particular bit. So what, this is the MIDI player, yeah? So what I can do with this, so as you can see me playing here, you should be able to see up the top there, that is the piccolo. And we have a trombone, orchestral, flute, oboe, tuba. This is what comes with the app. So this is the built-in demo. And down the bottom, so this is a MIDI player. So if I hit down the bottom here and hit play, we're going to hear all these instruments. <laughs> It's like I'm having an orchestra eclipse. So you can see here, all these instruments are, are being played. You can see the notes, there's little keyboards down the bottom here. And we got the strings down the bottom. So remember, this is the standalone version. Let's stop this. So you can actually import MIDI files into here as well. So if you click down the bottom, down here, this is where you can import MIDI files. So you can, you know, if you've been to one of those MIDI websites where you found a, uh, you know, a Beatles song or something like that. Can I find one? Do I have anything like MIDI on here? I'll get to that question in a tick, Dave. I definitely will. Where are we? Um, iCloud, if I go to like downloads, I'm sure I've got some kind of Beatles thing in here. Let's see if I can find a, here's some, are these MIDI files? I think so. Do, 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 do. What have we got? Uh, Happy Christmas. Here we go. What, what, what can we grab? Sonic the Hedgehog. Let's do that. Sonic, Sonic the Hedgehog. <laughs> so you can import MIDI files in here and it'll select the instruments.
Pretty cool, yeah? All right, so there's that. This is just the player. So what you can see also over here is um, you can see what channel these are going to, all this kind of stuff. But let's go back to the main uh, picture. So here we are. Now, when you first download this and open it up as a standalone, remember we're not in AUV3 mode here, you will see four of these little windows. So I'll show you how we get to there. Um, now, if we jump in the settings here up the top, it says number of panels, and I have it set to 16. But when you first download it, it'll be set to four. And that's what you will have presented in front of you like this. So you can now go in here, and this is where you can create multi-timbral sounds in the standalone version. So now if I hold down one of my keys. We're only getting this top one up here that's playing. Why is that? Because it's going to a specific uh, channel. It's going to channel one, MIDI channel one. So, But if I go over here to this second one and change this to MIDI channel one as well, we're now getting these uh, strings as well. And now we can go in here. Let's add, we've got some tremolo strings. If we change this to MIDI channel one as well. We're getting all these come through on the same channel. So you can build up a 16 piece orchestra if you really want by going in here to the number of panels, going down to 16. And now we have 16 parts and you can go down and add all of these. The, the way to do it is really just to change all these to Omni. So they're all Omni channel. That means they're all going to the same channel. Yeah. Uh, but uh, you can see here we've got strings and you can, and we'll talk about changing the, uh, all the sound fonts and stuff. We'll cover all this stuff in, as an AUV3. So with each one of these panels, and you can't click on them and zoom in or anything, That's I wish you could do that, that'd be really cool. Uh, but in here, this where each section is here, when you click on it, this is where you get to choose from all your instruments. And look at them all, there's a crap ton of instruments. Now these are a sound font three, these are a GS, uh, sound font three, and you can go and look up what sound fonts are. You can import sound fonts into this as well. Uh, but as you can see, there's a lot of instruments. If we just start uh, looking at it, and you can change the order you'd like to see these in. Yeah, this is pretty much like Bismarck uh, BS16. So uh, let's have a look at this. So we've got a marimba here. Let's just take these back out to, uh, we'll take this to channel. Oh. A really cool thing, look at this. If you want to reset this, let's show you this now. So you've got a little reset button up here. If you click on this and just hit reset, boom, everything goes back to how it was when you first buy it. I like that, really cool touch. So let's go back over here to where the instruments are. So uh, we've got a stereo grand. Hello, Daniel Hello, Love Productions Vaughn. So, we have a piano to kick off with. Now, how do I get this back to, I think it's bank? Yeah. Uh, you can organize these how you like. You can go by none bank programs by name. So, you can, that's by clicking up here. So, you can see. You can also look for patches over here in banks. They've already been organized into banks for you. So, it's a little bit confusing, the banks thing because there's only like single things in banks. So I'm not really going to use that. I'm just going to go back to uh, here and hit all. Um, and let's go through. So here's where you choose your instrument. So we can hit like a bright grand, electric grand, honky tonk. Sweet. Heaps of pianos. So really easy to find stuff in here. Just do a search. You've got drum kits. You've got sound effects. There's a lot of stuff in here. And we'll go through as much as we can later on. If you like something, hit the little star. I like that little honky tonk. So I'm going to, there's a little star over here. 
boom, instantly becomes a favorite and I can find favorites. The favorites get put up the top here. So whenever you open it up, you see all your favorites. That's really a nice touch. We like favorites. And when you click up here, there's a little star up the top there. You can bring those up or make those disappear if they're annoying. Nice touch. We can close out of this. So. We have our honky tonk in here. Um, I'll quickly cover stuff in here. So we've got parameters here. We've got a master volume, which really does need to go up. I, I do suggest when you download this, if you get it and you're using it standalone, turn it up because it's really low. It's set at like half volume. You got a master key shift, master tune, so you can you know tune the whole lot all at once. Really cool to have parameters like that. Part tuning, so you can tune actual parts. And as you can see here, each piece has a part and a MIDI number. So you can go in and just, if you made four of these instruments here, we'll just close that out. If you made one, two, three, four, these top four all part one, then you could go in here to the parameters and you could do a part tuning and just pick that part one and go in and tune that specifically. Really not. There's a lot of like features under the hood here. A lot of really cool stuff in there. Um, again, we're not going to be able to go through all of it today. Uh, you can, you can save a uh, reverb presets. That's really cool. And then you can load them back up again. So you've, you've got presets in here. There are all this stuff's hidden away. It's re it's really, really neat that you've got some large room presets uh, you've got chorus presets as well that is hidden away in here too. Look at all those. So you've got some nice chorus presets. This is all in the parameters section. And you can go in and, you know, mess with your, your tuning in here. But this is for, remember, this is for the whole lot instead of the individual parts. Because you have over here reverb and chorus. We'll cover that in AUV3. You also can choose your MIDI devices. So you can tick your MIDI devices, what you'd like to use, MIDI ports, all that kind of stuff. You can use Bluetooth MIDI if you would like. Geez, I have a lot of MIDI devices. Look at all those. Um, and here are your settings. Let's talk about these. So you can change your keyboard to a glide scroll fixed. This is the on-screen keyboard here. So you can play with that. You've got velocity sensors as well. How, how you would like your velocity sensors. You can transpose, change the, uh, the knob and uh, slider sensitivity, which are all these things here. So you can get in and really change all this stuff up. Um, this is for your player. The, f the first thing we opened up with, a whole lot of uh, features in there. So you can change the playback speed. You can uh, ch change the, the sample views, all this kind of stuff. There's just a lot to mess around with in here. Polyphony has 64 voices. This is 64 voice. You know, this is, you can do a lot of good stuff in here. Buffer size you can mess around with as well. There's a lot to play around with here. I don't want to go, I'm not going to sit here and just go through all of this stuff because it's boring. We want to hear the sounds because we're already halfway through today's show. So there it is. There it is as a standalone. You can have all these multi-tracks. The thing is, with this, if you're going to do something like this and have all these multi parts and you want to record them all in as just one track, you can only kind of do it as an interrap audio. Yeah. So let's jump over to AUM and then we'll go into GarageBand and we'll go through some of these sounds. All righty. AUM, where are you? Somewhere on my home screen. There you are. Now, I think I made something. Did I pre make something? with all a bunch of these instruments. I think I did. I think, I did. there we go, KQ Senpei. So I made this just using Zoa and a whole bunch of instruments. Shall we have a play? So let's turn everything down and we'll have a play and we'll see what I made. I think I made this in 10 minutes. <laughs> so it's, it's not gonna be anything magical, but uh, let's have a listen, shall we? Oh, thank you, David. Thank you so much for the kind super chat as always, you rock. So we just got two instances of Zoa controlling all of these instruments. So it's completely random, the sounds that are being made. You can, I think you can arrange, uh, you can arrange sound fonts into banks. 
So you, I think you can go in and edit the banks. I'm pretty sure you can do that, uh, Daniel. All right, so we got a piano here, just doing its thing, very mellow. So we've got some drums in there. We've got a whole bunch of instruments. We can stop you. Lovely. Let's go in and have a look at how, the, how this works as an AUV3, because it is a little bit different. So when you open a brand new instance of this, so this works the same way in GarageBand as what we're doing here in AUM. Hit an audio track, we'll do a search for K, Q, and pay, and there it is. So when you open it up, you only get one instance. Yeah, so you only get one of them. And here you can double click, make it wide, and this is where you can go through all your sounds and pick what you want. So we'll... Let's uh, mute all the rest of this stuff. We'll uh, just turn you all down. Because we'll come back to this later. Boom, 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 boom. All right, and we'll head back to this. Let's run through some sounds and see what you get. We need to connect this to my keyboard first. Okie doke. So we got, we got a got a grand piano and as I said these are sound fonts so you know they're they're pretty common these things uh, this is a piano sound font just a stereo grand it does sound very piano doesn't it all right, let's have a look at what these knobs do. So this is a representation of those small panels that you saw in the standalone version. Now, what's interesting about this is there's some things that you kind of wouldn't expect, but uh, for a normal kind of sound fonty thing. Uh, da, 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 da. All right, that's good. I need to sort that out. All right, sorry, just got a message there that I need to sort out today I forgot about. So you've got volume here. Here's your volume. Express. Which is your expression. So you can turn this down. And the harder you play. So if you're somebody who tends to play a bit hard or you play a little bit soft, that's gonna get you covered. So we'll turn this up to about here. You've got your pan. And to bring everything back to normal, just double click. You've got a reverb. So you got a nice reverb in there as well. And remember, what's really cool, you've got all these parameters up here as well. So you can change the master reverb. You can go in here and change all everything from here as well. 
So you've got, if you prefer, uh, once you've turned on your reverb and your chorus, here's where you'll find all the settings here to mess around with your chorus. So you've got in here your delay, depth, speed, feedback for your chorus. Also got your reverb stuff. So there you go. And you have a master volume for each individual instrument as well. <clears throat> So, la 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 la, let's get back over here and close that out. So you've got a chorus as well. Let's jump in there and mess with the chorus a little bit. <laughs> chorus sounds weird on the fucking piano. <laughs> we'll, take a bit, we'll take the chorus out just for now. But there you go. But remember, there's lots of other instruments in here as well, too, where it will work. You've got Pornamento here, which you can change the t time. You also have Mono, so you can turn on Mono. So now I'm in Mono. I can't play chords. When I try and play chords, we're only getting... Something which you normally find in synths, yeah? But if you're if you're a pretty shitty piano player and you just want to play single notes and you don't want to hit two at the same time, that'll help you out there. So you've got mono, you can pitch bend. You can pitch bend your piano. You've got a mod wheel and <laughs> It's drunken piano right there. You can fine tune the piano. So you've got a fine tune knob on the end there as well. You also have a, a attack, decay and release, which is uh, interesting. And these are like a plus minus. So you can take this attack and go in the minus. We'll take out this reverb and chorus and really cut that off, or... Wait for it. It's coming. Look at that attack, that slow attack. So that's really nice to be able to do that with a piano and drums and because there's a lot of sound effects in here and stuff. There's drums, so you've got your attack, decay and release. You even have a cutoff. Nice. We've got a cutoff in here as well. And you have a cue. Let's bring this up. So you have a cue as well in there. This, you know, this is pretty, pretty damn good. You've got hold buttons here, which hold your notes, clearly sustain, soft. So not too bad set of options in here. What you can also do with this as well is over here, you've got your low and high. So you can go in here and create split keyboards. Let me go full screen there. So you've got, uh, you can create split keyboards. So you can decide where you want uh, your keys to start for each particular sound. So you can see here, we've got this set to C1, zero. We could, uh, you know, we could definitely split the keyboard. With this, we could have the piano at like a C2. We could have a, a drums at C0. So you can do that kind of stuff as well. Here's where your MIDI channels are. So that this is set to Omni when you first open it up. Uh, and your parts, so you can set parts in here as well. Pretty standard stuff, but nice. We'll bring that cutoff back there. Let's go through some sounds, shall we? Um, where are we? Oh, you also have uh, some presets. I'll go back to the standalone to show you that. The presets in here only work with the standalone version because they allow you to create multi parts, where as an AUV3 you can only open one instrument at a time. Let's run through some sounds, shall we? So we've got these uh, pianos here. Honky tonk. Uh, 
FM electric piano. Harpsichord. There you go. We've got a clavinet. Hello, guitar shocker. Keep, we'll keep going through some sounds. Glock and Spiel. A music box. A vibraphone. Everyone's favorite iPhone ringtone. The marimba, a xylophone, tubular bells, dulcimer. A tone wheel organ. Percussive organ. So you can hear there's some fucking nice sounds in here, yeah? Really nice sounds. Uh, rock organ. Got a pipe organ if you're smoking crack. What's going on, Marshall? Beautiful. Reed organ. Everyone's favourite, the accordion. Uncle Jim, break out the accordion. We can't get enough of it. And then followed by the bagpipes, please. We've got a harmonica. This is always a test. These things almost sound like shit. Standard affair. We've got a nylon guitar for those who are perverted and into nylon. <laughs> got a steel guitar. We've got a jazz guitar. Got some clean guitar here. Some muted. Overdrive. Distorted. MIDI guitar, what can you say? <laughs> guitar harmonics. Acoustic bass. Finger bass. Got some pick bass. Fretless. Slap. So we've got two slaps. Uh, sexy. Um, we've got some synth bass. There's a bunch of strings in here too, violins. Let's bring this up an octave. Violins. 
viola. We got a cello. Yeah, look, uh, iOS Music Man. <clears throat> Again, sound font threes, simple MIDI stuff, stuff you've probably heard before a million times. If you've been to, you know, websites where you can write sheet music and stuff, they use these fonts everywhere. Nice to have them all in one place. Plus, as I said in the beginning, you can download your own sound fonts. You just got to go and look up sound fonts online and you can find plenty of them to import. <laughs> And as, as I said, again, I'm going to reiterate, when you're making music and you have a mix and you have multiple instruments in songs, you're not going to be able to tell if you're using Raven's Croft or the most expensive piano sound. Everything comes down to EQ and what effects you're adding to it. It's going to be in the mix. It doesn't need, doesn't need to have a fucking brand name attached to it. Know what I'm saying? Timpanies. I'm going to scroll. We'll remember where that is. So we're at timpani. Let's go all the way to the bottom because I know down the bottom here there's some sound effects. <whistles> Damn. <whistles> <whistles> So you would, a lot of you would have heard this selection of sound effects before, yeah? A lot of uh, the, the, this is all in one pack, but you have stuff like orchestral stuff here. <laughs> I'm just done. And this is nice. You've got some. Br you've got a brush drum kit in here. So that's a brush kit. We've got a jazz kit. Dance kit for us. Eight oh eight, eight oh nine. Electronics. There's a few kits in here. We've got a power kit. We've got a room. Standard drum kit. Another standard. Uh, sound effects kit here. Where are we? So there are drums. Why have we got doubles up there? Uh, here we are. Room drum standard. Mandolins. And there's a bunch of effects in here too. We've got some saw leads. We've got a square lead in here as well. A woodwind choir. See you later, Gazza. Shooting star. Oh, man. What the hell was that? Volume. White noise. We get some white noise, tambourines. Yeah, just a, a, a whole section of tambourines. Nice. We got tambourines, solar wind. So there's a, there's a fuckload of sounds in here. That's Fantasia. That one's called. 
That one's for anybody who needs some backing music while they're on Pornhub. All righty. Uh, that was a saw lead. We got a square lead. Mono strings. So as I said, this is going to be, this is great for like GarageBand because, you know, you may run out of sounds in GarageBand. There's heaps of times you're like, oh, if only I had this instrument. And especially with brass, you've got a few, at least you've got some options with this. So we've got a full orchestra. Nice. Going on, Ben. Good to see you. Christmas bells for that that festive mo time. Christmas. Don't want to think about it. You've even got just individual crash symbols, so you can tune your symbols if you'd like. Mystery pad. Wasn't very mysterious, was it? Let's have a look at this one. Uh, what is it? The Doctor's solo. So there's a bunch of synths in here as well. We've got whistling. So from the original Mickey Mouse cartoon. So we've got synth strings. Um, now let me try and find some effects in here because as you can see, there's a lot of stuff in here. There just is Tycho drums, I think even. We didn't even cover those. Sine waves, brass sections. Even some guitar feedback if you want some. Um, Hawaiian guitars, 12 string guitars. Organs, uh, where are our sound effects? Um, heartbeats. Car crashes. Scratching. As I said, guys, there's a lot of stuff in here. Who else needs to go to the toilet right now? <laughs> Explosions. Punches. Doors shutting. Birds. So much more than instruments. Uh, me when I wake up in the morning and look in the mirror. <laughs> Doors creaking. Horses galloping. The machine guns at the glue factory. The workers afterwards. <laughs> Telephone call from the boss. And it's raining outside. There you go. So heaps of stuff in here. Uh, more than you can poke a stick at for, f what is it, six bucks? Lovely jubbly. Helicopter. <laughs> a lot of good stuff. Uh, kalimbas, bagpipes, even got bagpipes. Banjos. Uh, you've got everything you need all in one app for five, six bucks. Uh, Polysynth. I think we're back up to where we were when I scrolled down. Even some solo vocals. So how is this going to be handy for something like a garage band? Let's get in and show you that. We'll close out of here. Um, 
close. Goodbye. Goodbye to you. Good day to you, sir. So we'll open up GarageBand. Uh, no, it's, it's not bagpipes. I know. It's uh, <laughs> It's not bagpipes. Bagpipes are incredibly hard to simulate. So to open it up in GarageBand, here's what you need to do. So you need to open up a AUV3 channel. So and then search for KQ. Here it is, KQ Senpei. Bang. Give it a second. And uh, my GarageBand's a little bit slow. It is what it is. That's all right. We're going to wrap up this show momentarily. I just thought I'd show you in GarageBand how handy this little dandy app is. I am vaping today. Uh, what am I vaping? Chocolate milk. Delicious stuff. Pointless information you didn't need to know, yeah? Boom. All right, so here we are. We've opened a track in GarageBand, and this is what's great. You're given exactly the same look as what you get in uh, a AUM. So again, you can choose an instrument from here. And scroll straight to the bottom. We can grab some drums. So if you're not happy with the drums that you get in GarageBand, we can click on that. We can uh, go in here, hit record. Wait, and then we've got our drums. And at any time, we can change these. you like <laughs> Pretty easy to use. And then if you want to add another one, just hit your plus, bring in another instrument or uh, and just open a brand new instrument. Do it that way. Or you can just click on the track, as you may know, and just hit duplicate and then go in and change to your next instrument. And then click again and duplicate. And you can add multiple of these instruments in here as well. So it's just a little bit of an extra selection of instruments to spruce up your garage band which if you've been using GarageBand on iOS as long as I have, no matter how many 808s Apple give us, there still doesn't seem to be enough orchestral stuff for me. <laughs> there's plenty of pianos, there's plenty of synths, plenty of 808s. Man, i got more 808s. I, I, I could start farming 808s in GarageBand. But there aren't enough things like brass instruments, strings, and this opens it up to have a few more of those things, a few more different variations on the GarageBand sounds, which may just make your sound even brighter, better, and more enjoyable to play around with, indeed. Um, was there something else I was going to show? So you have, uh, we'll do this and then we'll get out of here. So you've got a manager up here as well. If we click on the manager, here's where you can import files. So you can actually import your sound fonts in here. So you would save them in your files app and then you can import them in this way. And you can see here we have, uh, this is what's in the pack when you get it. This is the general user GS version 1.471 sound font 3, which you can go and search for and find quite easily. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Good stuff. Well, now the ball is in your court, guys. If you think this is something that will help your music creation, then you should grab it. If not, don't, because apps aren't Pokemon. You don't need them all. You only need the ones that help you to make the best possible music that you can. I think it's a great app. I'm happy to have it on here. It's one on my iPad. It's something I can just open up and say, hey, 
this might work. Let's try this. Let's give it a go. Uh, so sounds good to me. Sounds good. And that's it. What are we doing tomorrow, guys? We are taking a look at this particular app that has just dropped. This is Polybud. It is the latest in the Bud series of apps. This one's really cool. I really like this one. It's got some good variation compared to the last few. You can create some very interesting stuff with this. So we'll be taking a look at this tomorrow. And uh, that is that. I'll let you know before we go too. This is happening this week. Super excited. Jack Flash is coming on for an interview. I can't wait for that. Uh, it's very exciting. And I hope you're all going to be here. DistroKid will be sponsoring this particular interview. And midway through this week, I'm going to be doing a look at this particular microphone set that I use. The Wireless Go, which I purchased myself. It is not a sponsored show or anything like that. I'll be showing you how all this works and what you need to do it and all this kind of stuff. If a wireless microphone is something that you are interested in. There we go. Uh, what is coming up for the rest of today? Leela asks. Well, I'm glad you asked. Pete Johns has YML coming up in a couple of hours time. So if you've got nothing to do, you can jump on and go and watch Pete Johns and YML. And I'll be back here at the same time, same bat channel tomorrow. And that's it. Thanks guys for always supporting the channel being here on a daily basis or if you can't make it that's okay watch it on the replay exactly mr smith thanks to the mods love you guys love you all have a great day remember do the things that make you happy mistakes make you better and we all rise together see you later boom Stunning. Stunning. It's full of buckets, man.